Tens of thousands of households in the Irrawaddy Delta region depend on fishing for their livelihoods. And there's one species in particular that is very important. It's extremely commercially valuable. Um, it's called the Hilshashad. The Hilsha is overexploited throughout its range. It's overfished in the sea uh, and it's overfished in land. The aim of this project was to demonstrate how incentive-based fisheries management could help to address um, the dual challenges of biodiversity loss and poverty in Myanmar. The project is a partnership between IIED, uh, the Myanmar Government Department of Fisheries, the University of Yangon, World Fish, and also a, a local NGO called NAG, the Network Activities Group. All of those partners have been completely crucial to this research. The project focus is to work with the small scale fisher from the AOD Delta who are fishing in the freshwater zone, They're trying to solve the problems of overfishing the young Hilsa fish. We spoke to fishing households and um, asked them about their livelihoods, asked them about their needs, and we simply couldn't have done that without a, a local organisation like NAG, who know the region and understand the politics. Yeah. <laughs> The project is designed to uh, understand their livelihoods along with the biology of the fish and also the ecology system uh, nearby so that we can design uh, the incentive programs for them to abide the law. What we have proposed is that during these times when fishing is restricted, licensed fishers are compensated for income that is foregone. In 2020, we um, finalised our set of recommendations for how the incentive scheme could look. Um, we put those together in a, in a white paper for regional and central government. There's a huge export market for Hilsha. The government is very aware of its value commercially, but unfortunately, because the artisanal fishing sector is so informal, it's basically invisible. We were able to go to government and speak their language and make the business case and show that the economic benefits of an incentive scheme could be up to nine times more than the costs. We spoke to um, central government uh, about how this financing mechanism uh, could look. And our partners, World Fish, also travelled to the Delta region to speak with regional government parliamentarians and local Department of Fisheries officials. Representatives from local government and from fishing communities have voiced support for many of our suggested reforms. And although COVID-19 and recent political events have created uncertainties in Myanmar, we're really hopeful that there is enough local ownership for progress to continue.